Welcome fellow Fusioners, Character King here, and today we are playing Kawaki Mirus with Switcheroo. Kawaki Mirus are a very interesting deck. They are very OTK based, but they have some very strong effects. And their monsters are very expendable, but they're very costly to keep on the field. Uh, so basically, all of your Kawakis will destroy themselves in the end phase unless you fill, fulfill a certain requirement. So you have to reveal something or send an iron core of Kawaki Miru from your hand to your graveyard, which your Kawaki Miru Iron Core has the effect where instead of your draw phase, you can add this from your graveyard back to your hand instead. So basically, uh, you have Kawaki, Kawaki Mirrors have a few cards that work really well. They have, uh, I'm going to go over the, let's go over the main ones first. We have uh, Kawaki Miru Ur Ur Knight. Urn Knight basically has it where if you uh, can reveal a Iron Core in your hand while he's on the field, you can special summon one Kawaki Miru from your deck, except for your Maximus. So you can summon out your Sandman, your Wall, or your Ice. This is really good because this gets your players going and helps you get your board full. Besides that, we have the options you can summon. Sandman basically has the effect when it's on the field and your opponent activates a trap card. You have the option to tribute it to negate one trap. So it gets rid of your monster, but it's pretty powerful negation. Kawaki Mirror Wall has the same ability except for instead of traps, it has spells. So if they activate a spell card, you can tribute it to negate a spell card. Then lastly but not least, we have Kawaki Mirror Ice, where um, basically if your po uh, opponent has a special summon monster, or actually you can target your own too, basically once, uh, not once per turn, you can uh, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, destroy one special summon monster on the field. So if they have three monsters, discard three cards, destroy all monsters on their field. Uh, all of these monsters have effects where... Um, Urn Knight can reveal a Beast Warrior in your hand to keep himself in the field, or send the Iron Core. Sandman can reveal an, a rock, which is either Sandman or your wall, to keep onto uh, in your hand to keep on the field, or you can send an Iron Core. And then you have Wall, who can, same ability, show a rock in your hand, or, reveal, or discard an Iron Core. Or you have uh, Ice, which basically needs a Uni Reveal Continuous spell, but we're not running any, so that's not as relevant. So you're mainly going to keep them out with your Diamond Core. So besides that, we have Kawaki Mirror Maximus, who basically you can banish an Iron Core from your hand uh, to special summon your big boss monster, Kawaki Mirror Maximus. Maximus has the effect of once per turn, you can target and... Destroy one card in your opponent's field. Uh, you can still attack. There's no other restrictions. You can just pop one card. And then during the end phase, uh, you have to discard either a Kawaki Mirror Monster or an Iron Core. So we can't reveal something he has to discard to keep alive. But all of those effects are mitigated by your search card. Diamond Core of Kawaki Miru. Diamond Core, when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it. And none of your Kawaki Mirrors for the rest of the turn can be destroyed by card effects. So your opponent can't destroy them. They don't destroy by their own effects. They stay on the field. And you're able to have a very present strong board. So this is the core card. You want to see this as often as possible. It also has the amazing effect that you can add to activate it. And add one Kawaki Miru card from your deck to your hand. So you can search out any piece you're missing. Core, your Maximus needs Core to summon, so you can banish your, uh, you can banish your, yeah, you need one of each, Maximus and Core, Core, Maximus will banish Core to summon himself to the field, so if you're missing one, you can search it with the Core, uh, the Diamond Core, or you can search out any other pieces you want, depending on the situation you're in. They have a lot of utility and options you can choose from, they just lack a lot of, uh, sustain, if you get low resources, they have a lot of trouble. Uh, so Diamond Core is much needed because you can search anything and is very good. Uh, core is, you need to run two because you want to you see, even though it would be nice to run things like Econ, you want to see as many Core as possible. Actually, Clash would be better. You want to see as many Core as possible. Uh, but overall, running two Sphere Karibo, protect ourselves because we don't have a lot of defensiveness. Uh, we're running Drowning Mirror Force because our field will pop itself, so your field will either be empty or full. 
and that's basically what you're working around there. And we're running two Cosmic Cyclone because we're running Switcheroo and we want to get rid of Back Row. That is problematic like Floodgate, so we're able to do a little more uh, plays against our opponent. Our extra deck doesn't really matter. Switcheroo will shuffle back pieces we don't need, add them back to our hand, and we can abuse our opponent. The deck has a f actually interesting ways to work around other decks, and it's pretty fun overall. It hurt a lot because it doesn't work with the Neos engine anymore, but overall it still has a lot of strengths, and is actually a very climbable deck with. Alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what kind of decks you want to see in the future. I appreciate you guys. That's the deck. Now the gameplay. Oh no, we don't want to go first. We want to go second. First is not good for us. Ooh, Exodia. Interesting. So I think we'll set two pass. Hopefully we don't get OTK'd by Exodia right now. I'm hoping he tries to attack for damage. He may not do that if he plays smart. Exodia should not try to do damage if your win goal is Exodia. Unless you have, like, a designed purpose to summon out more damage and try for lethal. But generally you just want to keep it for one or the other. Damage or alternate win condition. It's always rare to get to see Exodia, but the universe like a trash panda, I mean treasure panda, and uh, just get OTK'd, <laughs> and you cry, and you're like, no, not fair, where's my rank up? <laughs> nah, it's not worth Cosmic Cycloning. Mm. So he is running the Glomos. Come on, heart of the cards. Ah. You ever see Zodia get the uh, the right heads or tails and just want to cry? <laughs> Cup of Ace always feels bad to lose to because like it could have just easily have given you the cards you need and prevent them from drawing cards they want. It's okay. This deck's still bricky. Like you need a lot of specific cards. The Cosmic Cyclone can interrupt like Wonder Wand. So I'm not in the worst position. I don't care about him gaining life. He'll gain 1,000. Um... Do I want to... He probably has something in hand. You know what, let's Drowning, why not? He's an Exodia deck. If we lose... If we lose our board anyway, we'll probably lose, so... So we've got Wall. That's really unfortunate. Okay, well, we can... Diamond Core... Into... Let's do Sandman. We're not going to banish it, we're going to summon our wall so we can negate a spell if we want to keep him from winning. And we can reveal the Sandman in our hand not to uh, lose our guy. Reveal Kawaki Miru Sandman. And I'll keep our wall up so we can actually negate something so that can really come in handy. Convert, contact, yeah, we're gonna negate that. We don't want him drawing too many cards. That's just a pure draw. Like, get a card out of hand, out of deck, and draw two. That card is too good right now for him. Anything we can stop, we want to stop. Ooh! Glow Moss, okay. I'll take it. Draw. So, Urn Knight should be able to reveal Urn Knight. We're not drawing very well. <laughs> I think it's the battle phase. That's not good. Urn Knight shows Urn Knight. We stay on the board. We really need Maximus. 
and we we need Maximus and an Iron Core, and he's just drawing cards, so that's not good for us. And he's not playing the Spellcaster variant, so he's just trying to like, draw exactly what he needs. Fortunately, he's still like three cards in hand; like he's not close to getting Zodia. This is definitely not a fast Exodia version. Cool, something I can hit without losing my turn. I'll take it. Uh, we're gonna s just hold that in hand, actually. So let's summon Sandman. So we can keep both of these alive. Let's have Burn Knight attack the face down one. This will probably search my piece. Oh no, it's just another defensive wall. Ah, speaking of wall. <laughs> I mean, he's helping us draw into our deck, so it's not the worst. Because we just need to draw either Maximus or a core, and we basically win at this point. Or another Diamond Core. So that means there's four cards we can draw, so basically half our deck. Slightly less than. And that will let us win this next turn. Or at least try to win. Sphere Karibo. Um... Yeah, I can summon. We'll summon. We'll summon ice since it's le less relevant right now. Woo! He dies. There we go. Now he's some kind of hand trap. That doesn't matter. We'll take it. I don't see a way you can come around at this point. Oh, he's got next. Okay. We're gonna negate that, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> and now we have our Iron Core, so if he has something that's problematic, we can send something. We'll send... Sand... or... Oh. Nah, that's fine. We can just draw the same card again. Try to reveal or send the Iron Core. I keep thinking of Maximus's ability just to send the Kawaki Mirror. <laughs> I did not like Kawaki Mirrors when they first came out, but they grew on me a lot. Especially the one like uh, I think Casey Cup I played against them. Yay! Woo! Okay, there we go. He not his coin flip twice. Next game. Alrighty, going second against Yami Yugi. I'm thinking invoked. Sounds the most appropriate. Maybe, maybe Magician Girl OTK. That's a really nice mat. I need to get that one. I don't have any mat actually right now. <laughs> Whoops. Keep forgetting to set that stuff. Um, that is terrible. We'll set our night pass. Yeah, we have, um... I don't want to trigger Destiny Draw. Uh, we don't have anything else that lives with our current hand. Hmm. He's setting something. Draw. Cosmic Cyclone. That's actually good because of our skill. So we can pop the back row. Good. Floodgate's good. We like hitting floodgates. Switcheroo. Let's get rid of the ice. Sphere Karibo. Okay. So, let's go flip this up and just swing. Or see if he responds. Battle. Kill that. Invoker, of course. He did not search. I guess he has um, what he needs in his hand. So he either has uh, Invocation on the field or in his hand. He's probably running one, oh, unless he bricked on two. That would really suck. If he bricked on two, setting a second one as a bluff may actually be pretty reasonable strategy. Perfect, okay. So... Yep, we're going to Special Summon... Maximus. Normal Summon Wall. 
Maximus will, I guess, pop the back row. I forgot about that for a second. Thought it was invo- Oh, drowning! <laughs> oh, good hit there. Cool. <laughs> good thing we noticed that. Next game. There we go. Cool. Going second. That is ideal. We do not like going first like we've been. In some other games. Let's see here. So that's pretty good. Iron Core is good. We don't really want Ice and Sandman, but they can't have their time. Cosmic Cyclone can give us a different card. And get rid of a back row, so that's actually really good in this matchup. Especially since it's Odeon. Unless he's just playing Odeon for... Oh, Necro Valley, never mind. Cool. Is, he, is that 30, 30 card Blackwing? We'll see. Probably just Gravekeepers. And I'm overthinking it. Um, so let's Cosmic Cyclone. We don't like Necro Valley. Let's switch a rule. Let's get rid of the, I guess, Ice. Drowning. Okay. So we're going to save our plays. So we'll go a Wall, since he can negate spells, which are faster. You guys expect 2,000 defense, yep. That's what we expected. He'll summon probably the one that can pop cards by tributing Gravekeepers. Yeah, we really wish we drew like an Iron Core or Maximus. We even earned that would have some play, but no, we need something bigger to get over this. We have big monsters, but not that huge is because we don't have the three uh, triple Maximus anymore. Really? Okay. Um, interesting. So we'll show Sandman so he knows we have the trap negation. And pass turn. Wall and Sandman are really good. We only fear monster effects past that point. So we can kill this, but he can summon anything. Past the point. Oof. Silent Magician. Nope. Double Tribute. Oracle. Interesting. So there goes Wall. <laughs> oh no, he's just boosting him? Really? Oh no, he's doing two effects. Never mind. That's gonna hurt. Oof. Wow, my life points are low. <laughs> um... There's another wall. I guess we'll try to get plays that win this turn. Set and turn. I got my drowning, but he'll think this is probably more problematic since I didn't use this before. If he's setting something, it's like he knows. Back to the deck. So we don't have any life points. Oh, perfect. Actually, that is good. That is very good. So we're going to add Maximus. We don't want to deal with that. Banish core before you summon, that is very important. Or else you are subjugated to destruction before you can even get protection. Hopefully it's not like Floodgate. Actually, I probably should have summoned Sandman first. I messed up there, yeah. Sandman would have been a safer pick. Because now we're in a situation where if he activates his back row, we just tribute Sandman and we don't instantly lose. Oh, cool. Econ take. Oh, no. Econ defense. We're okay with that. I think overall that's less hated play. We'll target Maximus. Yep. Cool. You're a move. You have this turn or else you lose. Make your comeback. 
Que cutter coil. Kawaki Mirror Maximus. Necro Valley Throne. So I can search any Necro. Oh, Gravekeeper. I was about to say Necro Keeper for some reason. So he adds Nobleman. That's only by battle, though. Yeah. So we win. Maximus, send it to the Shadow Realm. Battle, Maximus for game. Cool. Well, there's Kawaki Mirrors a little bit. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what kind of decks you want to see in the future. I appreciate you guys. Keep fusioning. Let's go Slash. Hush.